One of the hotly contested races is for the seventh state assembly district. Democrat Ken Cooley is facing off with Republican Josh Hoover and District 7 includes some of the suburban areas surrounding Sacramento, stretching from Rosemont to Orangeville. KCRA 3's Orko Mana introduces us to the candidates. The race for California State Assembly District 7 is heating up between Democratic incumbent Ken Cooley and his Republican challenger Josh Hoover. Due to redistricting, the new 7th district includes Rancho Cordova, Citrus Heights, and Folsom. Since 2012, Cooley has represented the former 8th district, which has some overlap with the new area. But Hoover is also rooted in the community, serving on the Folsom Cordova Unified School Board since 2018. I think we need to do some take, take action that will provide immediate relief. Hoover telling me his top priority is to reduce the cost of living for Californians by stemming inflation. We have the highest income taxes in the in the nation. We have the highest gas taxes in the nation. And the reality is, is that these things are affecting young families the most. To help with rising gas prices, Hoover supports suspending the gas tax. But others, including Republican Kevin Kiley, who as an assembly member had Hoover as his chief of staff, have already tried that and failed. What makes you think that that will happen, you know, this time around if you are to be elected, given that it really didn't move forward? We're going to have about a 30 percent turnover in the legislature. My hope is that when we get this new crop of legislators in the building, that we can actually work together to solve the problem instead of just, you know, running into kind of the, the, the politics as usual. Ken Cooley voted to raise the gas tax. Hoover's campaign airing attack ads against Cooley's voting record on this issue. In 2017, Cooley voted in favor of SB1, which increased gas and vehicle taxes to pay for road repairs. He has been very supportive of these uh, costs that have continued to put more burdens on families. And so you can expect that, that we will absolutely be bringing that up. What's your response to that ad? I think it's an exaggerated thing as if I did something uh, that I initiated something. I, I just think, honestly, that whole movement was to fund road projects and make it harder for other politicians to get their claws on the money. That leads into Cooley's top priority, which he tells me is ensuring government oversight. We don't hold this power for ourselves, we hold it for the public. The public wants greater accountability and it's our job to provide it. Cooley says his other main focuses are the foster care system as well as public safety and homelessness. The latter two linked together for Cooley at the American River Parkway, which he's highlighted in recent ads. It's time to make this special place safe for all our families again. It's become top of mind for Cooley, especially following the murder of 20-year-old Emma Rourke. A transient man is accused of kidnapping, raping, and killing Rourke and leaving her body in a tent at the American River Access on El Manto. Did that maybe, did that light a fire to do, to do more than what had been previously done along the parkway? Yes, very much so. I started pushing this idea that we ought to be able to move people out of places where they don't belong. So how do you go about proposing removing them from the parkway without there currently being enough housing for them? But we got 25 million to support the parkway area. So there's there's actually a lot of resources that are going to be available to the county. Public safety and homelessness also among Josh Hoover's other top priorities. He says the focus needs to be on mental health and substance abuse issues, and he's also calling for a full audit on homelessness spending in California. We need to figure out which programs are actually working to get people out of that cycle of homelessness, which ones are doing what they're intended to do, and most, more importantly, which ones are not working, because we need to take the money away from those programs and redirect it to something that actually will make a difference. With District 7 tighter than most races, both candidates are working to set themselves apart. I am definitely the most middle-of-the-road Democrat in the assembly. I really want to uh, bring some new leadership to the legislature. Orko Mana, KCRA 3 News. While registration numbers are pretty close in District 7 between Democrats and Republicans, Ken Cooley got more than 50% of the primary vote compared to Josh Hoover's 34%.